Gerd. Gerd. Ge really? Gerd? You couldn't spell check? Alright. Uh, they said a door unlocked behind me. I'm going to guess it's this one. Oh. The Hulk was here. Jesus Christ. Wonder glue, just in case. Got some blood. Got an angry hammer. Angry hammer. They're very, you know, you can tell. I can tell when a hammer's angry. Bad data, bro. Personal entry two. Bad data. The damn pipes is leaking. The damn pipe is leaking. I don't know why, but suddenly all the water from the basin began to drain away. All that purified water wasted. Jared was furious. He was like, I'm furious. This is what he said. Jared, there's a pipe. This is what I said, actually. Jared, there's a pipe water leak, and we lost our basin of purified water. Charles, fix this problem before I throw you down a pipe. So now I'm stuck trying to get this old pre-war pipe fixer going. Pipe bug, something like that, powered by a little nuclear-powered little baby. And, however, I can't find the key, and it's just doing stuff that's wrong. I know that the password was put somewhere around here. Maybe I could find it if it wasn't for that Mary. All she does is talk a mile a minute while I'm trying to not to inquire Jared's wrath. All it is, all it is all day with her. Charles, we should be trying to find a way to purify the river. Charles, we should work on this. Charles, we should we should make hot dogs and sell them at the corner. When did she even get the right to come in here? Oh, yeah, I remember. Jared sent her in here to help me with the purifier, but she doesn't know a damn thing. Well, I really got to get back to work. So apparently, Jared's wife is a dumb bitch who should just die, and then she did, and then Jared went crazy. Well, now I'm well and truly dead. I got a message from Jared today basically saying, Charles, you're fired. Get out of here. Blah, blah, blah. Mary's going to take over with me, and she's going to mess everything up. And now, thanks to her, I'm being kicked out. I'll die before I reach Arafu. Really? You'll die? Uh, you're not. No, you're not. It's literally, a, it's like a minute. It's a minute. But that isn't even the worst of it. Today, after meeting with Jared, she came up to me and said, Too bad, Charles. I was hoping we could, could work together on this, but I guess Jared doesn't think too highly of you, huh? Oh, I remembered that I put the pipe bug password in my desk. Sorry, she smiled at me when she said it. Smiled, then turned and walked away. Humming a tune. Well, Mary, I might be going down, but you're coming with me. Oh, shit. I know what I'm going to do. When she comes in here in exactly ten minutes for a shift, I'm going to call her back to my office, and then I'll kill her. Well, okay. That was pretty blunt. No pun intended. I'll hit her on the head with my hammer. Yep, blood. Blunt. I don't care if Jared finds out, because by the time he finds his beloved wife, I'll be long gone. I just heard her walk in. Jared, when you read this... Fuck you and your stupid wife. With love, Charles. Alright. Bunch of dumbasses that live here. Although it was Jared's wife's fault. And I hate her. Okay, I guess we'll check the guardhouse first because that's in the guards. And the oh, I can open this now. When you press the button, the main door next to it, it makes a funny sound. Meow. Well, that is a funny sound. Time to go in the... Well, no. We're going in the guardhouse. Time to go in the ga the guard. Oh, Jesus. My dick exploded. Search guard. Are they all going to be called guard? Really? You couldn't... Spell check guard? Oh, my God. These guys are called guard, but their guns aren't called guard. Weird. Lab master key. Oh, master. Andy's terminal from Toy Story. Good lord, we get to meet more goddamn journals. Reading the mod. I'll be going back there in a second. I just want to. I just want to take the stuff off the dead people. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Don't even have a chair to sit down on. Journal entry, October 15th. Guard report, Andy. Today was a sad day for me and the rest of the guards. One, one of our own, a new recruit, accidentally threw a grenade wrong during the test of its power. Of course, the grenade was an X-25 and was very destructive. He managed to hit a beam and deflect the grenade back into the trailer where the main generator was stored. Jared killed the poor boy for his mistake. Strung him up outside with hooks. Jared's a giant asshole. I'm never going to subway again. Now we can't access the range. Because the door was electronically locked. Jared is working on the generator. Another news that poor bastard Charles 
was given his two day get the hell out of nose from from Jared. Poor guy, saw him sulking around, pooping and crying. Seventeen. Something absolutely awful happened. I don't think I'll ever forget what has transpired today, and I've seen a lot of shit. Like literally, I used to work in a shit factory. Jared went down to the water plant to check on Mary and kick Charles out. His two days were up. The past two were uneventful, except for Charles looking more and more insane. I was intrigued by how Jared was going to deal with the poor bastard, so I hung around the outside of the building. 30 seconds after Jared walked inside, I heard a huge bagang, and then the loudest, most inhuman scream. Two minutes later, I see the door to the plant being kicked open. Jared was he was dragging an unconscious Charles, who was covered in blood, over to the recreational area. He then proceeded to cut down an old wooden post and tie Charles to it, using an old cord. He then called a meeting for all personnel. Get down to the rec area now! Came the announcement over the ham radio. We all we all came there, and we were like, uh, are we, is he going to cancel Bingle Night? This bastard killed Mary. He killed her. Jared kept on repeating it, though, each time a little louder until he was screaming and his eyes were bulging. And then it was it was like, is his, is his eyes going to pop out? He killed her. He killed her. He killed her. And now I'm going to kill him. Um, look, I'm not going to say what he did to Charles, but, um, you, like, it was, it was not, it wasn't good. It was not good. Um, yeah. I called all the guards back to the barracks and Esme told all scientists to go back down to the labs through our entrance under the couch. I think she wanted to keep her people as far away from Jared because he's goddamn crazy and his wife was a bitch and there's a funeral. I'm going to take a dump and blah, blah, blah. Charles held the funeral on the small island below the overpass today. I and some guards carried her wooden coffin over the bridge and buried it earlier. Johnny tripped, though, and the coffin fell in the ocean and was eaten by Myra Lurks. He looked distant, not on the island with us. He stared off in space and started singing a Space Jam theme song. I took the guard up and put them at their post, and Jared came back. He looked almost angry. He walked over the wreck area, and he was like, I'm playing basketball. What have I done? What have I led my guards to do? What? Why am I such a coward? I let him slaughter the scientist minus Esme. She vanished. Looky here. Jared put the place into lockdown. No one can escape now. He forced me and the guard to keep keep him from running away while he... Oh, God. Why not stand up to him? You know, this reminds me of a poem, my father. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me talk about something from before the Great War. When the Nazis came for the communists, I remained silent. I was not a communist. When they locked up the Social Democrats, I remained silent. I wasn't a Social Democrat. When they came for the trade unionists, I didn't speak out. I was not a trade unionist. And when they came for the Jews, I remained silent. I wasn't a Jew. And when they came for me, oh, I loved Burger King. But they still took me. Because I love Burger King. You know, in that book was a picture of a Nazi. Jared looked like a Nazi. What? I'm scared. Plain and simple. I ordered the rest of my guards into the barracks and locked up. I told them to kill Jared on sight if they see him. We are safe in here, at least. I have the only key. Wait, where is... And then he turned into um, a robot. Good night, Chief Andy. Touching poem. I quite like a Nazi. What? Fear is a great weapon, as you... Yeah, okay. Great. So, uh, the mod is... Um... Everything's good, except for the the whole premise of it. It's a little... It's like, why would these assholes follow him in the first place if he's obviously, like, goddamn insane? Like, I know he went really insane after his wife went crazy, but it just seems like... Oh, God! Go away, you stupid turret. Plus, there's a lot of reading. And reading is boring, unless it's a book. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Can, like, I just hire... Can I'm gonna hire someone just to read all these. Oh, we get to fight people. Well, uh, and it's just stupid things. Nope. Nope. There we go, we got one. Eat this, whores! Oh, wow. That did murder them, so good. Internal, this terminal requires clearance two. Key moved into my pants. Key to the grenade bin has been moved to my storage down in the common rooms. Storage down in the common rooms. All right, I'm going to come back and read these. I just, I'm going to forget. I want to shoot someone in the mouth. Yep, not even trying today. Uh, yep, yeah, we got it. Ah, nothing like good old plain luck. Oh, 
Holy shit. You lost that pool. Common rooms. This is a bathroom. Someone's running water. Who's running? What are these? Are these just... Are these showers? Yeah, those are showers. Okay. Just wanted to make... Jesus Christ. <laughs> Welcome to Dead World. Panic. Oh, God. Jared finally snapped. He rounded up all the scientists and escorted them to somewhere with the guards. I think he killed... One who didn't want to go with him, and that is what gives me such a bad feeling about what is going on. That and the screaming I hear from somewhere up on the surface. I was in the bathroom and hid in the stall when he came in here. I don't know if he knew I was in here or not, but I'm li I'm not leaving the spot. I didn't see Edme with the rest of the crowd, though. So maybe she escaped. I'm the only person who has her office key, so maybe I can buy her some time behind down here. I know that Jared probably knows I'm here, but I'm I'm also pretty old now, and I see... And I would rather see young Esme escape than myself. So here's to you, Esme. Good luck escaping the maniac. Here's some footsteps coming down the stairs now. Wish me luck. Maybe I can kill the bastard with this knife. However, I do wish I had time to grab my clothes. Oh, well. So, so far, I, I don't mind the mod. I just... The story, to me, makes no sense. Like, why are these people living with crazy pants McGee that snapped and is just murdering everyone? And why are the guards shooting the scientists? Like, I understand he'd be like, shoot the scientists. But, like, the guards are just like, well, I guess, yeah, sure. Holy shite. Why am I grabbing water? I saw, I'm not playing in hardcore mood. Alright. Also, sorry about all the cuts. I've been interrupted, like, eight times. Like, it's like interruption day for me. I can't blow up radios. Used plasma grenade. Just my type. Feeling much better, yeah. But, like, uh, aesthetically, though, this is uh, set up very well. And, uh, it's very... The guy knows what he's doing. Ooh, look at this. Clearance 002. Story-wise, not too much. Esme's diary on a single piece of paper. I fear for everyone, but it's too late. He's going insane. We should leave, but nobody listens. They all decided with Andy the coward. Stay here till Jared finds and kills us. They made their choice. I'm making mine. At least Jared won't get my research data. I'm destroying my terminal so we can't make any more destructive weapons. Jared wants to kill me for sure, and I'll try to hide, but he'll eventually find me. He locked the place down. There isn't any way for me to take off this place except by death. If anyone ever finds this, let, let it be known that Jared is killed and will kill and kill and kill and yeah, you should have realized that forever ago. Elevator access accepted for running. Alright, are these the ones that we didn't read? It's been a while since, it's been like a day since that last cut. Yeah, whatever. Go down here, shoot someone in the face. Hi, dear. You're dead, dear. Oh, wow. Only one. O only one. Your chosen switch did nothing. Oh, really? Only one switch will unlock the door. Jared is the only one who knows who it is. What? Who it is? Any wrong switch activation will permanently seal the door until clearance 01 unseals it. Okay. Like, really? Okay, I, I do not care at all whatsoever. Here we go. Oh my god. This is enormous. Um I don't know if we're supposed to find this later or not later. Look at this. This is awesome. Oh, I didn't know it was a custom thingy. I didn't know geared rifle was custom. Oh. Ooh. Cool. So I disabled 
stupid ass iron sights mod and now I still have iron sights. I have to go and delete my goddamn animations. Just a pain in my ass. Though I do kinda like the iron sights, they don't really work on every gun, but they do kinda look cool. Jared's rifle. Look at that textures just just on there. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to take the rifle, buddy. Ooh. Cool. Sweet. So I like that there are a few little baby custom weapons. Pretty sweet. Oh. Jared has a lot of guns. Overcharged. Justice Bringer. Anything new? It's just a stat edited weapon. I don't care. Jared's combat armor. Oh no, Jared, you got me stuck. Jared! Jared! Jet Jared! To Jared, I love you always, dead wife. Interesting, this appears to be a pre-inscribed grave marker for Jared. Mary and Jared must have pre-made them in case of their unti untimely deaths. Even though Jared doesn't deserve a burial for what he has done to the people of the Swift Rest, it is the right thing to do. Yeah, I don't want to do it, though. He's a douchebag. Are we seriously going to bury asshole McGee? Because uh, I don't want to bury asshole McGee. Is there something I was going to do? Oh, the sniper rifle, right? Oh, wow. Shoot lasers. Okay, secret tunnel. Let's go read those diamonds right there. Are these different or the same? Uh. Hello, everyone. Hearty welcome to New Lion Seed. Dr. Henry Smith, he's here. Jenry said that it's good to have him here, and there's stuff, and the water plant's doing less water because Charles is a dickbag, and that's all. If you want to read this, you can. Um, I'm not going to read it. No one reads these. Very good job, everyone. This batch is most lethal problems ironed out. Blah, blah, blah. Cool. Alright. Um. Got my overcharge going on, girl. These all the same? Yep. And, yep. And just in case. Alright, we didn't go to Jared's house. I'm guessing that's where we were supposed to go first. Whoopsie. I don't care. Jared poops in his living room. He's a sick son of a bitch. Oh, shit. Jared? Jared, you douchebag. Stop shooting everyone. Okay, everything's unlocked. Oh. And just imagine Jared trying to get this up here. Just like him and another guy like hauling it up the stairs. Like, no, it's, it needs to go upstairs. No, I need to put this in my in my closet room. Yeah, no, it needs to be in there. Ooh. This is a big ass key. Roof key. This is basically just a really big house mod. That's <laughs> all it is, essentially. I've not really done anything. Ah, uh, shit. I don't want to do that. Damn. Oh, no. What did we just pick up? Damn it. I 
just picked up a note, didn't I? Okay. I don't know. I forgot what I, I was talking. I don't care. Uh, X25 overdrive manufacturer terminal. Place required items in the box. Uh, okay. I don't really want to do that. Alright. Um, let's go downstairs. 